Hello dear students, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Dr. D.C. Saxena, Professor and Head of the Department of Food Engineering and Technology at Sant Longoval Institute of Engineering and Technology, Longoval. I am here to present the paper, Technology of Spices and Condiments. We will be seeing in the present module the nomenclature and classification of spices. As you know, the classification is very important in further identifying the different spices and this aspect will be explained to you by my co-author Ms. Saeed Insha Rafiq. Hello students, welcome to EPG Path Shala. I am Saeed Insha Rafiq from Santalongwa Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today I am going to talk about module 5 of paper number 10 that is technology of spices and condiments. In this module, we will be learning about the nomenclature and classification of spices and condiments. The nomen in nomenclature comes from the Latin word for name and nomenclature is a system for giving names to things within a particular field. Nomenclature refers to either a list of names or terms or to the system of principles, procedures and terms related to naming, which is the assigning of a word or phrase to a particular object or property. The nomenclature is regarded as a part of taxonomy. While taxonomy can be defined as a study of classification including its principles, procedures and rules, while classification itself is the ordering of taxa, that's the objects of classification into groups based on similarities or differences. Nomenclature of spices and condiments. Here, spices, that's cardamom, small and large, and pepper are having the taxonomical classification as the botanical name, family name, and the part of the plant from which the spice has been derived. For example, Cardamom and pepper taken as spice is actually the fruit of plant. Cardamom that's called Elaichi in Hindi language and botanically and botanical name being Eleutheria cardamomum is belonging to family Zingiberaceae and is a large rhizomatous perennial crop and is called as skin of spices. Its native to Southwest India, cultivate in India, Sri Lanka, and Guatemala. Useful parts are pots and seeds. They are dried or ground or as used as whole. Essential oils are simiol, lamonine. Pots are harvested by hand and is called as the second most expensive spice after saffron. Culinary use include important ingredient in garam masala, flavored to curries, mughlai dishes, pulses, rice dishes, pickles, desserts, and tea. Large cardamom, botanically called as amomum sublatum and it belongs to family rocks zingiberaceae. The part of plant used as spice are fruit and seed. Then moving to pepper. Pepper is botically known as piper nigrum, belonging to family papyraceae and the part of the plant used as spice is the fruit. Spices are classified here on the basis of botanical name, family, and part of the plant used as spice. Here, 
chili, ginger and turmeric are being classified and chili is basically fruit that is consumed as spice while ginger and turmeric are rhizomes. Spices are dried and then grounded in order to make them more convenient for utilization in various foods. Chili Chili is botanically known as capsicum anum. It belongs to family Solanaceae and the part of the plant used as spice is the fruit. Ginger Ginger is botanically called as gingiber officinale ross. It belongs to family Gingibraceae and the part of the plant used is rhizome. Turmeric Turmeric is botically called as curcuma longa. The family is gingibraceae, while as a part used as spice is a rhizome. Coriander, cumin, and fennel belong to the same family APSC, and the part consumed as spice is generally fruit, while leaf of coriander is also used as spice. Coriander, botically called as Coriandrum sativum, belonging to the family Apiaceae, and part of the plant used as spice is leaf and fruit. Cumin, botically called as Cuminum simonum, and belonging to family Apiaceae, the part used as spice is fruit fennel botically called as foniculum vulgar mill belonging to the family apsc and the part of the plant used as spice is the fruit fenugreek is consumed as seed while cinnamon as bark however garlic is used as bulb for seasoning the foods fenugreek Fenugreek, it's botanically called as Trigonilla phonum graecum and belongs to the family Fabiaceae and the part of the plant used as spice is a seed. Cinnamon, cinnamon is botanically called as Cinnamomum zelenicum. It belongs to the family Brain Loraceae and the part of the plant used as spice is the bark. Garlic. Garlic is botanically called as Allium satavum. It belongs to the family Aliaceae. The part of the plant used as spice is the bulb. Clove as spice is basically the unopened flower bud and tamarind, the fruit while slurry as leaf, fruit, and stem. Clove. It's botanically called as Zingenium aromaticum. It belongs to the family Myrrh and Peri Motaceae. The part of the plant used as spice is the unopened flower bud. Tamarind. It's botanically called as Tamarindus indica and belongs to the family Cecilpinaceae. The part of the plant used as spice is a fruit. Slurry, botanically called as Apium gravelinus, belonging to the family Apiaceae, and the part of the plant used as spice is the leaf, fruit, and stem. Part of gravy used as spice is fruit, for mint, it is leaf and mustard is in the form of seed. Kravi. It's botically called as Karam Karvi and it belongs to the family APSC. The part of the plant used as spice is the fruit. Mint. It belongs to the family Lemiaceae and is botanically called as Mintha Peperita. The part of the plant used as spice is a leaf. 
mustard belonging to the family zern brassicaceae and botically called as brassica juncea the part of the plant used as spice is the seed for saffron it's basically the stigma part of the plant that is taken and called as saffron for use in various food delicacies saffron is one of the most expensive of all spices and condiments because of its restricted growth to few places like in india only growing in the pampo region of kashmir valley saffron is botanically called as crocus sativus and belongs to family iridaceae the part of the plant used as spice is a stigma mace it's botanically called as meristica fragrance hot it belongs to the family meristicaceae and the part of the plant used as spice is the arrel basil basil is botanically called as osimum basilicum and it belongs to the family lamiaceae the part of the plant used as spice is the leaf dill and parsley belong to the same family however the part used as spice is different that's fruit for dill and leaf for parsley dill it's botanically called as anthem grolins l and it belongs to the family apiaceae the part of the plant used as spice is the fruit parsley it's botanically called as petroslem crispum mill it belongs to the family apiaceae and part of the plant used as spice is leaf cassia the botanical name for cassia is cinnamomum cassia bloom it belongs to the family doraceae the part of the plant used as spice is the bark here thyme and celery belongs to the same family with the same part used as spice that is leaf and seed it's botanically called as pepinilla and some al it belongs to the family apiaceae the part of the plant used as spice is the fruit thyme it's botanically called as thymus vulgaris al it belongs to the family lamiaceae the part of the plant used as spice is the leaf celery it's botanically called as storija hortens al it belongs to the family lamiaceae the part of the plant used as spice is the leaf fig and rosemary belonging to same family with the same spice part fig it's botanically called as salvia officinalis l it belongs to the family lamiaceae the part of the plant used as spice is the leaf rosemary it's botanically called as rosmarinum officinalis l it belongs to the family lamiaceae the part of the plant used as spice is the leaf all spice is botically called as pamintadocia al mer it belongs to the family myrtaceae the part of the plant used as spice is the fruit and leaf nutmeg is having the characteristics as botical name of nutmeg is meristica fragrance hot and it belongs to the family meristicaceae the part of the plant used as spice is the seed while bay leaf is having the following nomenclature botical name loris nobilis l and belongs to the family loraceae the part of the plant used as spice is the leaf while in asafedu the botanical name is 
Ferula asophida L. It belongs to the family Apiaceae, and the part of the plant used as spice is the oleo gum resin from rhizome and thickened root. Horseradish. It's botanically called as Armora cerasticana gratin. It belongs to the family Brassicaceae. The part of the plant used as spice is the root. Tejpat. It's botanically called as Cinnamomum tamala, that is butch ham. It, it belongs to the family Loriaceae, and the part of the plant used as spice is the bark and the leaf. Capsicum. It's botanically called as Capsicum anum L. It belongs to the family Solanaceae. The part of the plant used as spice is the fruit. Now, moving to classification, which involves putting things into a class or group according to particular characteristic. Classification of spices is difficult as there are no absolute boundaries between the various groups. Usually all aromatic vegetable products that are used for flavoring foods and drinks are included under spices. In other cases, the term spice is confined to hard or hardened parts of plants that are usually used in a pulverized condition. Condiments or spices or other flavoring substances that have a sharp taste and are usually added to food after it has been cooked. Because of the difficulty of distinguishing between spices and condiments and the other flavoring substance, it is probably best to consider this group on a morphological basis, that is, the nature of the plant part utilized. A few more common spices out of the hundreds in existence are herein considered under roots, bugs, buds and flowers, fruits, seeds and leaves and stems. Classification and presentation of spices in a particular sequence or plant becomes rather difficult because of their heterogeneity. Spices could perhaps be classified or grouped according to different systems of classification based on botanical analogies or families, economic and commercial importance, climatic requirement that is tropical, subtropical, temperate, etc. Number of seasons required to complete the life cycle that is annuals, biannuals and perennials and morphological of the useful parts. For simplicity and convenience of reference, spices have been classified depending upon their commercial importance. This method has become the most popular system of classification. Spices can be broadly classified depending on various parameters like origin, family, duration, growth, habit, etc. In addition to this, conventional classification is also taken into consideration.
classification based on the plant organ from which they are obtained. Here, the distribution has been done on the basis of plant organ that is used as spice like seeds or nuts which include coriander, fennel, cumin, fenugreek, dill, aniseed, crave, almond, poppy, pepper, tamarind, vanilla, slurry, white mustard, cardamom, sesame. Plant bark includes cinnamon and cassia. Leaf spices are bay leaf, curry leaf, basil, parsley, rosemary, mint, parsley, coriander, slurry, and sake. Latex is asafed. While flower bud is claw. And roots or bulbs include horseradish, wasabi, garlic, onion, and slurry. Spices here are consumed depending upon the part of the plant taken as spice like seeds which include cumin, white mustard, cardamom, sesame, rhizome, turmeric, ginger. Fruit include cardamom, black pepper, vanilla, allspice, cassia, tamarind, paprika, pepper, coriander, star anise. Arrow include mace, nutmeg. Flower stigma include saffron. Berries are allspice, black pepper, chili. Kernel is nutmeg. Tubers include galangal, astra. Classification has been done on the basis of botanical families. Family and the crop is given as APAC family includes coriander, cumin, dill, slurry, fennel, low wage, parsley, asafed. Lemiaci includes mint, basil, rosemary, sage, thyme, savory. Liliaci are leek, chive. Solanaceae are capsicum, chili. Gingerbreaci is ginger, turmeric, cardamom. Mertaceae is clove, allspice. Aliaceae is garlic. Loraceae includes cinnamon, cassia, bay leaf. Brescaceae involves mustard, horseradish. Medistacea is nutmeg, mace. Paparaceae is pepper. Here the classification has been done on the basis of duration of crop. Spices are classified according to the period of life as annuals, biannuals and perennials. Annuals bloom one season and then die, thereby completing the life cycle in one year. Biennials live for two seasons, blooming the second season only. However, perennials live over winter and bloom each season, thus grow for more than one season. Annual is basil, coriander, dill, while biannual includes carave, parsley, and leek. However, perennial includes curry leaf, mint, oregano, and thyme.
classification has been done on the basis of growth habit. Herbs include grave, coriander, mint, while shrubs include rosemary, sage, and thyme. Tree species include curry leaf and laurel. Conventional classification of spices has been done here. A conventional classification of spices is based on degree of taste as hot spices include chilies, black and white pepper, ginger, mustard, sahin pepper, mild spices, are paprika coriander while aromatic spices include allspice cardamom cinnamon dill clove cumin mace nutmeg fennel and fenugreek herbs include basil bay leaves dill leaves marjoram, tarragon, and thyme, while aromatic vegetables are onion, garlic, shallot, and slurry. Condiments have been classified on the basis of class. Spices have substantial antioxidant activity due to phenolic compounds, mostly flavonoids present in them. These antioxidants may also act as natural preservatives by preventing or slowing spoilage of foods. Aromatic class includes vanilla, cinnamon, clove, parsley, bay leaf, grave, and cumin seeds. Acrid or peppery are black and white pepper, sain, chilies, curry, allspice, and ginger. Allylic or allicious is garlic, onion, mustard, horseradish, chives, and leeks. 
acid class is vinegar that's white chidar are wine capers and jerkins animal class includes caviar anchovies beef bouillon mineral class is salt and all salt based seasonings that is miso soy tamari etc so students let us now summarize what we have learned in this module in this module we have learned about the nomenclature and classification of spices and condiments nomenclature is regarded as a part of taxonomy and taxonomy can be defined as the study of classification including its principles procedures and rules while classification itself is the ordering of taxa that's the objects of classification into groups based on similarities or differences doing taxonomy entails identifying describing and naming taxa so nomenclature in this strict scientific sense is that branch of taxonomy concerned with the application of scientific names of taxa based on a particular classification scheme and in accordance with agreed international rules and conventions identification determines whether a particular organism matches a taxon that has already been classified and named so classification must precede identification classification in other words is the act process or result of classifying or systematic placement in a category or class it's the systematic grouping of organisms or spices into categories on the basis of origin or structural relationships between them and involves the placement of organisms or spices in a series of increasingly specialized groups because of similarities in structure origin molecular composition etc that indicate a common relationship the major groups include or class order family genus and spe species the most important rule of nomenclature is that the name of a substance should be unambiguous the precision demanded by science in the accurate naming of objects in the natural world has result in a variety of international nomenclatural codes that's all about the nomenclature and classification of spices and condiments thank you we have seen different nomenclature as well as classification of spices for further identification in the present module which has been very well explained by my co-author now in the next module we'll be knowing the chemical composition of different spices which are very important in further processing of these spices thank you